So we're here with Real Talk at Mike Burke. I'm back on the air. I've had some uh, surgery. I'm back uh, in the uh, studio, which I'm excited. I have Garrett with me today. I have Micah, my main man, producer. And I'm here with Wendy yes. O'Connor. And Correct. we have to say it correctly. It's a W I. Mm -hmm. yeah. You are the most creative. Your Instagram is Wendy O'Connor Official. Correct. And I was scrolling through it because I haven't seen it in a minute. And I was looking at it on the way here and I was like, wow, she is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Some days. My, ask my kids and they'll tell you I'm not. Really? <laughs> I don't know. They're getting to the they're place getting, where they're like, oh, wait, you're, you're cooler your than we thought. 24, and my son will be 22 in a they couple of days. They know you're cool. Come on. That's, <laughs> I, I mean, when you're 12 and kids are 12, they're like, <laughs> now you're not cool. Right. Then you, you know, mom, and you go to the, the movie theater, and like you're driving through, and they're like, mom, can you park over there, and I'll come walk over uh, and then get in yes. the car. They, my kids did that. Oh, they all do. Yeah. They're supposed to. Now at 20, not my kid's 19, oldest, and he's like, no, no, that's my dad. Come here, come here. Now yeah. he's like. I guess I'm cool. <laughs> or he needs my AT or my ATM card. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. And I had two hundred and thirty three dollar charge of boot barn. Like, and I'm like that, what does that mean? Boot barn. Oh, it's is that where like, you buy the cowboy he, boots? He bought, yes. yes, where he yeah. bought them. Oh, gotcha. And I'm yeah, going yeah. through itemizing so I literally this this is the first through the fifteenth. I guess the fifteenth of the month, like a tenth through the fifteenth is like when all my bills are due. Mm -hmm. So I was in the office earlier today and I was over there paying bills, writing checks, doing I was speed writing and then i went through my amex and i'm sitting there going okay and i'm writing down Colby, Colby, what the frick is boot barn and i'm texting he's like all right dad i'll pay you back for those shoes <laughs> oh you do look at the statement that comes <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're here to talk about Wendy O'Connor. How did you get into being so creative? I've always been creative my, all of my life. I mean, I literally fell out of a car when I was a kid. Yeah. I was so creative. <laughs> so when did you start? Wait, 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 wait. Did you creatively <laughs> fall out of a car or were you creative because you fell out of a car or I were you being creative the, and then fell out of a car? I fell out of the car because my mind in my head, I was in a bus a school bus but it was before i went to school but i'd been in a church bus uh -huh. and i could literally see because i was so fascinated by the driver opening the door the way it oh you know they would oh, get yeah. the thing and then the yeah. doors would so in my mind i was pretending i was going to school and i was on the school bus and i just open and this is before we wore seat belts right. you know it was a free for, for all for kids terrible and i fell out of the car really yeah because i opened the door <laughs> that's funny so we're drinking that's how a creative have you tasted the cocktail yeah i took a little sip and, wh and what, is, what is all in this do you yes. like what is all in this do you know what, what is, is it the fig it's a fig newton i mean no the <laughs> chili this is orange fig spread <laughs> no i think we, i think last night we uh called it What's um Fig, what did, what did you say? Fig it up or something? Uh, What's the main liquor? Gin. Okay, gin and a, a liqueur. Yeah, it has creme de Okay. Blackberries. Mm. Oh, yep. Smash, muddled blackberries. Yeah. Oh, yummy. It's, it's really yummy. Fig spread. Fig spread. It, it, this is like when you get into a true mixology. I mean, this is something you would experience at a really nice craft cocktail bar. This is. Because it's sweet, it's got a little bit of a kick to it. It's got those, those nice layers. It's complex, and I don't like mm -hmm. gin. Audrey knows this, and it's, it's I, delicious. I, I, I hated gin, and then half the drinks I like now have gin in it. Me it, too. It's crazy. I know it's it so is. good. But for the listeners, it is not only delicious; it is gorgeous. It looks cute. It's so pretty. It yeah. has a beautiful fig and some rosemary. Yeah, and it's pink. It's beautiful. When did you start? Uh, crayons and pencils and drawing oh Young. as soon as i could as soon as you could draw yes like four or five years old and i was just telling the story to another artist today i created with my sister a crayon mural down our hallway in our house when i was maybe four or five and we got in humongous really? my mother left the house with two little children you and never know that thing might be worth money now you know, <laughs> no, it was it was wiped and probably painted over. So but from the beginning, always very the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, 
in school, did you take art classes? No. No. I did not. Just My so. sister was an artist. Okay. So I was, I had a teacher that asked me to be in the talent show in first grade. And then I was in the talent show every year. And then I started doing musical theater in sixth grade, mm. fifth, fifth grade. And I did musical. So I was more like the theater singer okay. kid. And my sister was the artist. Hmm. I know. And it, what does she do now? It was fascinating. What? She wants to sing. She wants to. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell. You, you both envied each other. You were, you're, all your life, you're like, I want to be in theater. Are you talking about? I want to draw. Sibling rivalry. That's crazy. That's so true, though. That's I've true. heard this before. Yeah. Do you think there's a psychological effect of that? Maybe. But I, I think I was too intimidated to try. I mean, I, I, I would do it anyway. Like, I just did it because I loved it. I loved drawing, painting, right. even the little um, cr coloring books that you would get where the water, you had little paint dots, right. and you would just wet it, and it would be like watercolor paint. Yeah. I love doing anything crafty. So when you get to college, where did uh, this this creative art, like painting and wallpaper, because I saw on your Instagram, you're doing wallpapering. Yes. You're doing uh, textiles. Art, textiles, purses. Like, do you do any clothing? I've done some, but I'm working on it. Like some jeans and like paint all over the jeans and stuff? Maybe some we're, we're gonna coveralls and some dresses. <laughs> I love yeah, it. Yeah, sweatshirts, t-shirts. Do you have a gallery somewhere? At Camp North End. Camp North End. I have End. a studio. Oh, right on. Yeah. You can go in and purchase things that you... Yes. Oh, I need yeah. to go check that out. I know. I think I'm going to start some workshops this year, which will be fun. Yeah. What about and date night? Online. Have like people come in and paint, yeah. learn how to paint, do classes like that? That means I have to work at night. Oh, <laughs> God. So that gets in the way not. of cocktail hour. <laughs> Sorry, that's the intern. The intern runs the night shift. I have right. put in so many hours over the years. There's at this point, I'm like, oh, I, I, I need rest. So, how many hours a day do you put into what you do? Too many. I, I wake up as soon as I wake up. I grab my phone. I'm making coffee and I'm I start work. Out the door. Yeah. Out the door to the studio. Yes, or I will get things done, like all my social media, things that I need a quiet space. Yeah. I will do that at home okay. and then head out. I'll go work out. When did you actually start selling art? Well, I did not start taking art classes okay. until I was in my early to mid-30s. Really? When my children, oh no, I take that back, late 30s. Late 30s, yes. you started taking art classes. Yes. And then take me I from there. I took three, well, three classes in, I knew that that... Passion. It was my brain turned on fire. Like every single sy synapse was firing away. I felt like I was doing mental gymnastics. It was addictive. Like I wanted to do it every single day. And it was also the challenge of not being good at it. Yeah. Like singing, if you grow up singing and performing, it's not like, it's different. You still have to hone that craft, but it's something that comes easier to you if that's just a natural. Some people, you can either sing or my son, my husband, I, he could try forever and right. he's not going to be a good singer. Yeah. <laughs> but Art was something completely new and different as far as like real, it was oil painting and impressionistic oil painting, like pra painting pears and um, figures. I loved every second of it. That's awesome. And so it Garrett, just. You need to write this one down amazing. in your notes. Mental gymnastics. Yeah. That true. one's going in the Do it every archive. day. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that's the first time I've ever heard mental gymnastics. And I'm like. But you have the idea. You can see it. You can I, exactly, I'm over here. exactly what's is going on. Is that what's uh -huh. wrong with my brain? Like, <laughs> yes. Shit. I've been doing cartwheels for years. Didn't even know it. You know what? Anytime awesome. somebody says, Mike, you're distracted. You say, no, I'm just doing mental I'm gymnastics. Doing, <laughs> I'm telling you. That's you, right. Use you it. You just gave me yeah. my new out. I'm thrilled. I'm, thank you. Is you're all welcome. I say. Thank you. This one's now in the archive. And, and you ask me, why do you do these podcasts? It's that kind of shit. Yes. Now I have mental gymnastics as my new keyword. It's the little nuggets. The, it's the little nuggets. Little nuggets. Arsenal. You're little building, nuggets. building the Love arsenal. Yeah. So great. So what gave you the inspiration to say you're sitting there watching TV, you're watching Oprah, and you got kids, and mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're eating your ice cream, and yeah. <laughs> you're just like, 
freaking hell, I want to go do art classes. Like, what, what was the it, it magic was, moment? It was not, I had a friend who was taking the art class, and I have so many friends that tell me, they're like, God, I remember when you said the same story. She was taking an art class. She says, would you want to take an art class with me? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to do that oh. because I've loved art my whole life. And This woman, literally, is a, who, who's this lady that you... My friend Liz Orvice. Okay. She's, she's a great artist. She's the inspiration. Yeah. Wow. She asked and I went and... Love it. Yes. But I had no idea it would be a business. Like I, I painted thinking I was just doing it because it was a calling. Like I'd never felt that kind of passion sure. ever as a kid performing or doing theater or something right. else, that, else that's artistic. Sure. But that I... I remember I had a, my first show, a friend made me do it, and I literally felt like I was completely exposed as a human. That's awesome. Doing it, it was the most scary thing. What your husband thing. think about it? He, oh, he's so proud. Yeah? Yeah. When you first he start doing it. art classes, he's like, good, get out of the yeah, house. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> Give her something to do. Good, go. I got the kids. She needs to stop talking to me. <laughs> Now does he miss you? Like, are you there too much no. now? He, he's still like, stay he's gone. Like so. He's like, damn, she's gone at 6 a.m. Great. I get the house to myself. If you met Blake, you yeah. would know none of that is true. <laughs> it is true in the morning. Yeah. Like he would be, he would absolutely love it if I made my coffee yeah. and went straight to my studio and yeah. gave him that break. Do you bring any of it home? Like, do you yes. keep it at the studio or do you bring it home? I am a hot mess of a wreck. I mean, it is, is a it disaster. Is it the garage or do you have a room? I have two stu two spaces at Camp North End. Uh -huh. And then I have a, I created a studio on Bald Head because I was kind of squeezed out of this one space, yeah. my main studio at Camp North End. So I take artwork and supplies to Bald Head Island. Okay. And then if I have projects that I'm working on and I know I can just keep working into the night, which I really prefer doing, I will take supplies and work home and then load my frickin' car up the next morning with all the crap <laughs> and go back to work. And it's just like, it's ridiculous. Do you have any help? Yes, thank God. Who, who but is, it took me years to get to that your, place. Who's your right hand? His name is Joe. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> His name's Joe. <laughs> yeah, I don't want anybody else I to think hire voice. him. <laughs> Selfish. Sorry, Joe. He Garrett, knows. Garrett, he knows. Garrett, Garrett. <laughs> oh, I did. Here, his name is Joe. <laughs> he said the voice changed. It was like uh, it's not even. Uh, his, that's it's his, not even his that's, real name. That's his inmate. His inmate. He's inmate two seven four two four. I'm like, so I'm like, priceless. damn. Keep him a secret. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, Jeez. His last name's Smith. <laughs> I signed the NDA. I'm not going to steal him away. I promise. No, you're not. Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> no, but he, he runs the My Home Division. Okay. I have, I've had several employees over the years, and he is, I finally found my person. Good. that it, He is fantastic. That's awesome. And then I have Heidi that works in our warehouse. She's been with us for over, I think she's just had her two, second year anniversary. Yep. Longest job she's had in Charlotte, like staying with one person. Oh, cool. So yeah, I know she's lovely. And then I have some part-time people that help in our, it's like a gallery shop. Are other showroom. artists selling art in your space? No. Just you? Just me. Have you ever thought about opening it up to other artists? Well, we have several artists at Camp North End that have their own studios. Uh, okay. So I haven't been there, so I'm visually not. Yeah. Uh, okay, got it. Yeah, there are lots of I have neighbors that are artists. So I love them So it's like a all. community of artists. Yes, right. They're fantastic. But jewelry, you do jewelry? No. No. Ever no. thought about expanding into jewelry? I have. I I can see that. Yeah. Like you know, you ask the question. Right. I'm sure as you're a successful business owner, somewhat entrepreneur, Getting creative right. person, it's hard to turn off the ideas. It never stops. And then you, it's it, how many can you really accomplish? Well, that is, that is the real question know? is my brain is probably similar to yours. And, and I just keep trying to slow it down because I'm getting older. 
And I realized that I have a thousand ideas a day yep. and I wanna implement at least five of them a day. And then I'm calling all my friends wanting to know who wants to be in the next business venture. And we are going to space, by the way. <laughs> you and Elon. <laughs> and they're like, bro, you've been drinking this like nine in the morning. Nah, <laughs> had three energy drinks, went to the gym and I, we're going to do this and we're going to do this. And by 12 o'clock, I'm like, what, what were we talking about at nine? Okay. Like, have you not called Elon Musk? Why? They might need some. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he can. I'm sure he can build anything. <laughs> the thing is, though, smart, intelligent, crazy guys like that that work off the charts mm -hmm. i read a little bit about the tesla because we own a tesla now yes and we have two and i love tesla they're our best customers by the way awesome. um is the fact that he bought tesla he didn't create tesla he bought tesla and then hired the team of people to then created the engineering portion of the mm. the systems and right. processes and I'm sitting there going, it's all about the idea, but it's also about how do you build the team to implement the idea. Correct. I love to be the creator. Same. But I'm not making the crayons. I'm not making the ink. I'm not making the canvas. Because I, you can't. You can't. You cannot just want to, do right, it. Right. So yeah. if you think about everything that you use on a daily basis, mm -hmm. his brain was like, no. Nah. I'm not building an electric car until we build the electric stations across the country because how can I sell electric cars if we don't have charging stations? Right. And I'm sitting there going, genius. Yes. This guy owns all the gas stations for electric cars across the country and every manufacturer that bought, that builds electric cars now Brilliant. is now at the mercy of him going, we need to use your stations. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. if you buy- Creating out, adapters for their cars. Right, That's right. right. I, I, and a friend of mine was like, Hey, Mike. So, and, just, uh, and government contracts. Yeah. yeah. So when you like investors, you know, people get together. I'm sure you have gatherings and friends and, and networks of people. And they'll go, hey, Mike, you're pretty smart. Uh, what do you invest in? And I'm like, Tesla. And yes. Go, what do you buy a stock in? Tesla. Why do you buy Tesla? Because they own all the gas stations. And it's not gas. They own the electric stations for all the electric vehicles. And no matter what, in the next 10 years, they're still going to get that credit card swipe every time you go plug in. Right. And I'm like. They're, Brilliant. Uh, that that's why I have no other reason than I own one, and they're gonna own the future charging stations. Yes. And that's my reason. And if I made a bad bet, then I made a bad bet. But I don't think I made a bad. Bet. I don't think so. I just throw a little bit of money <laughs> at it all the time. It's up. It's down. I got into the point where I don't even care where it goes because I know in ten years when I want the money to pull out of it when I'm sixty, I gotta wait to sixty-two. So twelve more years. I'm going to be 62 and a half. <laughs> 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 then I can pull it out of my Fidelity investment account and go, yeah, thank you, Elon. I love yes, you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> thank you, Daddy E. Yeah, he's exactly. really, he's amazing, fascinating. You know, you either love him or hate him. Yeah. There's a lot of hate out there. I know, I don't get it. Why do people you hate still, successful people? You can be in the middle. But you too. Like you can like some things about people sure. and not others. Yeah. You don't, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Do you think that having a level of success puts a target on people who, on your back and they and they feel a sense of putting you down to try to bring themselves up or do you think it's more or less they did not That's go such through a the, good question. The, you know what I mean like, yes I don't, I, um, I, I don't know how do you feel about that I, I find that fascinating that's such a good and insightful question I always question if I feel that way I question myself like why do you feel that way is that person making you feel that way or are you just assuming so I do really question myself but yes I think that there are people that there's a book called the artist way okay. and I had a friend ask me to read it because she's like everything you say Wendy I swear it's in that book I'm reading this book and it's the artist something way. that you've said yes and it so I still have like I have to read it but one of the things that my biggest takeaway was so interesting and it explained it to me is that most people are creative sure and it's the people who are willing to be brave enough to act on their creativity that bothers the person who doesn't that is well said right that is very true what is the largest painting that you have done that you sold like i'm talking is it five feet six feet eight feet ten feet it's eight by seven 
seven feet. Was the eight, was a local person that bought? Yes. Okay. And it was easier. It oh, and then, oh, and then I did one. I was about the same size. Eight foot. This was my favorite commission. No offense to if anyone else is listening. To <laughs> sure, sure. I have a lot of followers oh, in Sweden. Yes. So don't worry. <laughs> Good. Maybe they'll commission yeah. me for some art. Oh, my Germany friends. Yeah. So I had this woman reach out, and the person at, that was working for me at the time asked her to do a FaceTime because she was like, I don't know. She seems like she's a government official of some sort, but let's just double check. And she was from Egypt. No shit. Yes. So we FaceTime and she was legit. She was, oh, the, so wow. she was the first female minister of finance in the Middle East. Get out. Yes. What? She was a minister and her husband at the time was, a, and he still may be the minister of finance for Egypt. And you sold them a painting? Two. Get out. Yes. I shipped them. I, it was. What? To she Egypt? Is that they are the most lovely people oh, on the planet that's awesome. yes i know so did they take pictures like, and send it to you, you in the house find me did they say yes they found you on instagram no where pinterest get the freak out yes. of yes that's what i was gonna it's ask I was, so we went through kind of her development as an artist now the you know one of your biggest things mike is self-starters yes so to figure out what was the tipping point of you saying okay i'm doing this for fun now what can i do to monetize and how? Perfect question. What's interesting, and I was having this same conversation with another artist today. I was in, I, most artists are told, and especially at this, at that time, point in time, which was 2014, 13, um, there were n very few art brands like an art, fine art artist who was a brand. Okay. And that like seemed... Thomas Kincaid or something. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, something That's like that. Right. That's a brand, right? But, but people would say, oh, if you're really an artist, then that's you're selling out if you become a brand. Oh, that really? was the thought. Really? Yeah, right. That's crazy. I know. And if you ask anyone else who's not an artist, unless, that I don't know, unless the they're opposite. in the art world, right, you would think. Mm -hmm. So I was in a gallery, and I won't talk about that whole experience, but it was um, a fascinating one. And I did not appreciate how they were treating me, but I also I wanted to stand up for the other artist in that gallery. I'm like I am, I will not have somebody control my art and treat me poorly. And, um, it was amazing. So I had been doing designs and I had a friend who said, you have to, you need to do something with this. So I pulled out of that gallery and then went straight to High Point Market. Wow. I printed off tons of patterns and some wallpaper. I had at the time hand painted silk pillows as well. Wow. Yes, I took my art, everything and that was how it all started. I think a little bit of me going, taking control. I'm gonna do exactly. It's it, it gonna, takes, this it is takes an my eight. art. I, I had a friend. I who, work way too hard. I had a friend that was a business owner that told me that you have to com you you have to create an enemy mm. to to ex succeed your highest expectations of yourself. So in sports, so MMA, right? Just say MMA, basketball, football. You have to create an enemy, like or maybe not, a competitor. Well, but maybe you're picturing them as I, I enemy. understand I don't know. what a competitor, like you're, you're yeah. a competition, right? yeah. But it needs to go somebody further, that drives you. But it needs to go further than that. Mm -hmm. It needs to be a competitor that has talked so much junk about you, that that has created an anger inside of you that you want to destroy that person <laughs> at all cost and then you get the fuel of this in, inner fuel that no no matter what anyone says to you you have blinders on that you're going to destroy and that's what elevates you because and i remember hearing this and this goes back to another thing that i just popped in my head i don't head. think women are that great at that but so this was a friend that's very successful entrepreneur um financial guy mm -hmm. um and made it 
super big. Now, I just remembered Michael Jordan used to, in competition, make in, in high school, I'm not high school, college at, at the Tar Heels and when he played for the Bulls, that he would make up stories that someone said about him to, or like they were talking junk or whatever, and he would come and put a target on that person when they were playing him that night. Wow. And I remember, I just remember because I, uh, the Michael Jordan story, he did it on, yep. and he talked about that. And it's super true because for me, when I built Lightning Mics, my first company, then I had some guys that left me, okay? Mm -hmm. They had left me and I taught them my business and they went and created a comp competitor business. I basically hand walked them into it. It fueled me so much that I wanted to at all costs destroy them. And I got into a price war and said, I don't care if you called them, just come to me, I'll beat their price no matter what. I just, I don't care, you're not going to them. I would stay up till nine, 10 o'clock at night. And Charles, this buddy of mine, works with me in Concord, worked with me during those days. And we, yeah. him, him and I worked together for three or four years together every single day and I was an assassin. If anybody did anything. So we took everything. We took all the work. We were like, no one's going, we're gonna bleed everyone dry because we're gonna outwork everyone. Right. Because we don't, we want them to starve and go out of business. <laughs> and so that's the mentality that I had built. And it's like 20 years later, a lot of these guys that still work with me, they yes. still think that way. And I'm like, bro, we won. We won. <laughs> we won. <laughs> Oh my god. We won, man. No, 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 no. We, <laughs> dude, turn the TV on, man. The war is over. <laughs> what is so fascinating? This so young, younger, and especially women most if women do feel that way, they would never Same. admit it. They would. And young people are all about and I've always I will say I'm competitive, but I feel like I am my biggest competitor I compete sure. with me right because if I'm only competing with someone else what if they're not what if my standards are higher I'm only meeting them where they are so if it, it I'm gonna try to do my best I the best that I can when someone found you on Pinterest yes. and buys two <laughs> paintings from Egypt I think you won sorry <laughs> I know there's so much but here's the thing I'm my worst critic and i also am surrounded by so many incredible artists i was with my friend justin ellis today he's an incredible artist young he's amazing i have several of his art pieces and he inspires me so much i'm like oh my gosh why didn't i think about his he can the way he conceptualizes things yeah. is just brilliant and he's such a good good soul like he drives me right, and so inspires me i'm gonna ask you me. a question have you bought any of his art lots what yes I love it. You're oh my there gosh like, oh, this guy's amazing and yeah you're buying his art That's oh cool. yes so it inspires you yes Perfect. absolutely That's awesome anyway so egypt we got to get back to this yeah. this is so incredible like i really am fascinated by this these people met you on pinterest they just saw my work on pinterest so take me from the transaction so we talk on the phone, okay. we're FaceTiming, okay. we had all these connections. Okay. Like I literally got teary okay. in our conversation because- Did just, they commission you for a painting? Yeah, okay. they commissioned me okay. for so two paintings. Did they say, hey, we want something like this? She's, this is what she said, okay. and this is when I started crying. <laughs> I am that way. Um, I'm, I get sensitive. Uh, yeah, anyway, right, right. And so she said, I, I said, how in the world would you find me on the other side of the planet? And I'm like, it's just me. Right. And she said, I found your work on Pinterest and I printed it off and I gave it to my interior designer. And I said, I want, she goes, do you see all of this joy? I want that in my home. Love it. I know. Very I was like, <laughs> that was pretty amazing. Basically, you paint happy. Yes, <laughs> I try to. I know. I right, see I I've seen it. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I've seen it. No bullshit. Oh, I've seen I love it. that. Yeah. So what? So you, that was amazing. Do you have a, any pictures, or, or is it a secret? Like you can't show? Oh yeah, no, I do. Oh right on. Yeah. Like I didn't know. It like, was big. No, it was this a is very my commission large painting. Face. It's secret. No one's oh, seeing no. it. Oh no. Yeah. Are they? And it, it's big. And it the one I did three different faces. Right. I had to get on a ladder to do. I, to 
complete it. I couldn't reach the top, obviously. And it's in their foyer. Do you of draw their it home. on pencil first and then paint it? Sometimes paint? I will. That one I didn't. I drew, I did kind of sketch it with a graphite okay. pencil and then so to get placement and size. Not that by any means scale. I'm not an artist, but I know that I was doing T-shirts in Myrtle Beach that basically said I love Lucy with hearts, and we had stencils and we'd airbrush them, and they mm -hmm. were basically cookie cutter stuff. Yeah. Um, I did love to draw as as a younger um, person. That's cool. But I have seen something and I'm just asking if you've ever done this before mm -hmm. um, where you draw it on like a piece of paper and then you put it on a projector and then blow it up and then go and stencil it and then paint or do you have you ever done that I okay I think you so have. I, I no, I used to so I remember I started teaching myself how to do portraits yep. and I studied I would ask for it like I had two amazing or three three right. amazing mural artists next door to me and then there were four because i don't want to leave someone out um they are incredible with faces and portraits and bodies and skin i mean right. they're just incredible realism and so i'd say okay i'm working on this thing i'm trying to teach myself so i was do i had no idea that people were using projectors <laughs> The, I've Mostly. done that, actually. I, I think people feel like they're cheating. No and I was way. like, no really? You're using it? Uh, so I did get I one. I used it now twice. I drew it twice bigger. Yes. <laughs> and I was doing them. Like, I do them large right. anyway. I like working. I... I struggle with smaller pieces. You like the bigger. They're tedious, yes. And I, my energy is bigger. Like my, my, the movement in my paintings, they're much better when they're larger. You ever Small, get the chins, it's like, just tedious. You ever get the chins crooked or anything? <laughs> yeah. You know what? I don't mind it if I do. It's cool. Yeah. It's your creativity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're, you're spreading the joy. Look at Picasso. Right. He had noses and eyes. and. That's true. Yeah. That is true. No, but I, I was just asking the question because uh, I had never known that before. Yeah. And so I'm like, you using a damn projector? Yes. I was having the same feeling yeah. you were. And then I'm like, dude, that's genius. I, like, <laughs> I know. I did that for um, a gift that I made for the former CEO of Ferrari. Yeah, oh, cool. I did wow. That. Yeah, I did. What did you do? Um, I had an opportunity to meet him. And after said meeting, I thanked him for the hospitality by creating a photo mosaic. So I did a, a picture of a beautiful vintage Ferrari and did it in smaller images of pictures Very that I took cool. of Ferraris and did it and sent it to him in Italy. Love it, Garrett. You're an and artist. Used, yes. And used the projector to project that one image so that I could place my smaller images and it made life so much easier. But it was 24 yes. hours of work straight through. Yeah, I believe it. And that it. was with my best friend. Wow. Helping me. I mean, it was Amazing. a lot of placement of a lot of little itty bitty. Did you take any pictures of it when you were done? Um, I, I actually, so. I don't know if I, I had, I had a copy made. Okay. So I still have the copy. Oh, cool. And it's the life size copy. It's about that big. Gotta That's check so it out. About cool. three feet wide. Gotta see that. How three much, how much you want for it, bro? <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about that later. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Name your price. Yeah. I just, well, see, the thing is, the prices always go down as, as the quality of life goes up or down. You know, I'm like, yes. just call me when you hit, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've done that before. I'm not kidding. I've had friends of mine that buy like cool classic cars. Yeah. And I'll go over there. And I'm like, oh my God, I love this thing. This is so cool. If you ever sell it, let me know. I want to buy it. You know, those kind of, right, kind of you know, we right. just, not that you're serious, but you're serious. Yeah. But you're like, I'm somewhat serious, but I'm not serious. Right. Like your Mercedes. Right. And that then, I want, but I'm right. probably not going to buy it. So it's one of the, <laughs> I want to. It really does. It's like walk, walking by the Cheesecake Factory going, God, I really want it. Nope, that's 4,000 calories. Nope. I know. I want it. I want it. I want it. Nope. Right. I it. know. Because when you look on the treadmill on an elliptical and you go, God, I just had a great workout. I'm awesome. like, is that a good purchase 200, for me? No, no, no. I'm, yeah. I was no, sweating my saying. ass off, right? And right. Go, that was 238 that? calories. Mm -hmm. That was 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right and you go have one bite of a dive of chocolate cheesecake at the factory and you put a thousand calories Toys in your body but that's why yeah. you worked out Not, yeah but i needed to, to go four to, days yeah. in a row <laughs> to eat one piece of freaking cake um oh, well. no so purses painting so the egypt paint the painting 
they commissioned you for two. Any other stories like this or any other stories from other countries? Oh my gosh. So um, now, because you know they had to tell some friends. You know you sold at least one of their friends a painting somewhere. But I haven't shipped anything back to Egypt. You haven't? No, but it was also during COVID. Oh, okay. So there's, there was probably some of that. Because I figured the networking of that. Because like, oh, normally yeah. when like you commission, like, oh no, I had this lady. Well, who, they've invited us to come over. Really? And, yes. Oh, so, you going? Yes. That's awesome. Awesome. But I have got to get it on the books. Get it on the books. Yeah, I know. Well, I was going to last year, and then Garrett, I, she needs a bodyguard for Egypt. So yeah, you and I can sign up. Volunteering? So cool. No, we'll just. They're wear, the sweetest. No, people. we're gonna wear like little just earpieces. pieces. Yeah, me and you. We'll look tough. <laughs> that just, there's nothing attached to it. It's just down our shirt. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yes. I'm gonna be like, well, don't mess with those guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't have to carry a gun. You just put an earpiece in. Yep. I'm, I'm feeling you. good. Yeah. Yeah. That's easy. Uh, no, I think so we'll be well taken care of. Egypt, um, we had a friend go there not too long ago, and he said it was a little bit uh, awkward. Mm-hmm. He was real um, near Cairo, yeah. and it was a hotel, and he's like, bro, like it was a little sketch. Yeah, it just depends on where you're going. Where you're going. Yeah. Right. And she's a female um, financial advisor for the you know, she well, her f- husband runs um, the main bank uh, for and for so minister of finance for wow. Egypt. I gotcha. So and she w- used to be and was the first female minister of finance in the Middle cool. East. So what, go, what? What's your favorite go, piece of art that you've ever done that you wish that you could get back? Oh. <laughs> I don't think I have one. Really? Come on. No. You had to have done one there, where you're like, when you sold it, you're like, dude, I just don't want to sell that one. No. I, I, you wanted to keep that one. That was the one There's you wanted to. There's one that I still, I still mean, talks I to you. Lo- yes. And it's a collage piece I did out okay. of paper. Okay. And it's um, like three dimensional surf iconography. So it's like surfboards and kind of basquiat type shapes it it is i love it it's this it's in a huge acrylic box where is it it's on bald head island i could not believe can you believe that so a designer bought it for a southern living show home and then the people bought it and wanted the painting do you ever get a chance to visit it no i haven't done it yet you need to but i still i think about it i love it if I could, like, that's something I don't know that I'll ever recreate. Okay. Like, even if I try, it will it never be, that, be that piece. Right. right. But am I sad that it's gone? I feel like every single one that I it's do is just, it's meant to. It's meant to be. Yeah. But be. that one still talks to you. Mm-hmm. That's good. Definitely. That's cool. Yeah. I've always heard that something like that does happen. That's why I wanted to ask that question. Like artists I've heard, like yep. I did this one and like, Oh, wish I would have. It was that too one. good to let go, but I did. Right. Sort of thing. Yeah. Right. I don't, I don't know. I feel like they're all meant to let go. Like I am going to create for the rest of my life. Yeah. Or, uh, I so don't want to keep all of them. Going back to, uh, I'm sorry, no, but yeah. going back to a conversation you were having earlier about artists and you know true artists feel as though those who monetize are selling out Mm -hmm. this is where that conversation kind of flips right you're truly passionate about what you're doing you're doing it because you're passionate it just happens to make money correct whereas if you're doing it because you are wanting to make money you're not doing it because you're passionate that's great a great this is where that flip comes in so an average canvas that you paint is probably what three four foot yes okay what does the frame and the canvas cost without any art on it? Like 40 uh, bucks? Depends. I, I'm just curious. I have no idea. I really am blank on this. Oh, no. Like canvases. You can go to Michael's and get a 36 by 36 for $40. Okay. Four, that's right. Yeah. So is that about right? Yes. Okay. So oh, 40, did you say 40 Yeah, I did. I thought you said 400 No, I said I 40 like, I said 40 oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. For, 40 so my brain, I was and thinking. then but And then the paint. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be so like paint, canvas, 50 bucks. tax, fifty bucks. Mm-hmm. So you're in it fifty dollars before you ever put anything on it. And no, uh, well, then there's also rent okay. for on your the, studio yes, space. Yes. Your time. Okay. Um paint the supp- art supplies. Right. Power. Yep. Lights. Yes. Internet. All of it. All of it. Yes. All the overhead of running a business. Yes. Exactly. And that's just the minimum. I know. Then you have shipping, boxes. Packaging. 
Yes. Bubble wrap. Yep. <laughs> all of that. UPS store all <laughs> so in one. Now I have employees yeah. that I pay salaries yeah. and yes. And they're all re- working for you. And Which, if you don't create anything. That's the thing. Okay. So yes. one of the things that I always teach in sales mm-hmm. is nothing is made until something's sold. Yep. Yeah. Nothing. No jobs are made. That's right. Nothing. Nothing is made until something is sold. So I say, I can have 50 people in the warehouse ready to work, but if we haven't sold anything, there's no work. Right. So sales is the number one thing. Right. Create the sale, create the demand, right. and then figure out how to get it done. Yes. And, and um, that is a hard thing to do as an artist. I'm sure. To do on your own. Yeah. I think internet, Pinterest, Snapchat, I think Instagram, I think all the social media outlets are, are our platform for that. I agree. Yeah. It, it's changed the art world, Instagram sure. and Facebook, just having anything visual. Right. Um, do you have a website changed. to buy art? I do. You do. Yes. And that is what? www.wendyoconnor.com. Okay. Wendy, Wendy with an I. Wendy with an I. Not official. Not. This is just the Wendy O'Connor. Yes. Just Wendy O'Connor. Okay, com. Perfect. Yep. How many paintings do you have for sale right now? Oh, gosh, maybe 30. Usually, so normally I don't have any. Okay. So what I normally do are drops. So I'll do a series, and then I release them at a certain day, time, I announce that, and then I drop them all at once. But I have so many just pieces lying around, and so... It's time to clear it out. Yes, I yeah. just we just loaded a bunch of stuff to go on the website. The to, one thing I was fascinated m- by is the purse move. I saw. In. Yes, I, I did loved a, it. a collaboration with Ben A. Bag. It's an Italian handbag cool. line. Yeah, it was so fun. So how do you get those? You go to my you get, there's a link on my website, okay. or you but you can go to the Ben A. Bag website. B E N E Bag. Okay, buy the bag mm-hmm. and then give it to you. No, you can just order it and it I I. You can make a choice, a selection of what artwork you want on the bag, no joke. and then You'll I paint, paint it. it. They'll yeah. ship you the bag, paint it. Yeah. What's the turnaround time? It's painted. That? It's four weeks. Four weeks. Mm-hmm. So you get the bag in two, one. How fast? Oh, you? I have the bags. Oh, you have yes. them. Yes. Yes, we've sold a ton, There's. but yeah, I have the bags. Do you sign them? Yes. You sign everyone. They're all signed, and the lining of the bags has my artwork in it, inside. It's there. <laughs> I love them. I them, love them cool. too. I, I'm telling you, when I saw that thing, I was like, bro, that's cool. So Your next trip, you're going to be rocking a Merce. Me? No doubt. Oh, yeah. no, yes. No. There's Christmas coming. There's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and the girl who owns the uh, Benny bags, oh my gosh, I love her How'd so you much. Meet her? We met through doing the collaboration, and I went to Italy. So she's from New Orleans, lives in Italy. She lives in Rome. She's lived there for eight years, just got married. Oh, my God, they're so cute. And I went over to see her. We went to a leather um, show, a huge show, trade show, and then went to the manufacturer. So I got to see where their the bags are made. Got to see some of the production. We chose all of the paint color. People don't realize like when you get a handbag, all the edges where the leather, you know, is so- sewn, there's an edge that's smooth. You can choose paint colors as a designer for those bags. That was so much fun. It sounds fun. I had the best time. That's like me I got going to Rome, Italy. To Porsche and be like, all right, we're going to do the stitching in silver. We're going to do this in mm. orange. Yes, I like, know. You it's just click divine. the buttons. You, yes. I'm, building, I'm building my yes, car right here. Exactly. I want orange calipers. I want this. I want that. You know? And that and the p- place where they were building or ma- building, making the bags, yeah. Dior, Gucci, they were all there Car- being made? Yes. All of them right there? Yes. Like, like Same this. place making them all. Yes. They're yeah. like table, uh, two tables away. They're making them all. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. It, that's in our world, like for the films. Yep. When so film, amazing. Right? You go to like three warehouses, uh, three manufacturers, mm-hmm. and there's this brand, this brand, this brand, this brand, this brand, this brand. They're all there. But you formalize them different. The, the thing that I learned about yes. manufacturers is that, like you said, you can buy silk stitching. You can buy f- this silk. You can create your own. The manufacturer's putting them together for all these different brands. But right. all different brands have got their own signature. Yep. But the beauty is the quality of construction is the same. Yes. So, like, the quality of these Benet bags are the same what's, as what's the a, quality 
have Benny the Dior. What's it cost? The, I think three fifty. That's it. Yeah, that's cheap. I mean, that's what I charge for a small, little, tiny painting. Right. And I'm paint hand painting them. Right. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, the cool thing about Wendy might is not do it again. <laughs> she, I love one, her. One, one of the other cool things about Wendy is she doesn't do just painting. She doesn't do just bags. I mean, you do. Pillows, towels, the wallpaper, wallpaper stuff. Yes. I was watching I your love I'm my like, wallpaper. I, I, you know what? My mom, true story. When I was tinting in high school, my mom was redoing like the bathroom in my mm-hmm. house. Son, you're pretty good at all the stickering stuff, right? I'm like, can you wallpaper? I can. I'm very good at wallpapering. <laughs> I can. T- I can tint buildings. You're and hired. Houses. I can do graphics. I mean, any of that kind of stuff. I install. Like installing is something I'm very good at. And I'm telling you. Wallpaper was something I got really pretty good There's at. There's a shortage of wallpaper hangers I can hang. out there. Really? Yeah, yes. If you need a side job, All right. let got me know. New, new business proposition. <laughs> <laughs> but my wallpaper is some of the, it's probably wallpaper. one of the things I'm the most proud of. I love it. And Besides you print art. It yourself? No, we just like you were saying, it is smarter for us to not exactly. print it. Exactly. So, so you design <laughs> production it. wise. So you'll design some wallpaper mm-hmm. styles. And I, some, I design all the wallpaper. And then you sell it on your website. Yeah. And you just say, "I'm designed this style." And wallpaper. we print to order. So no, they're all the patterns, okay. and so you can choose which pattern you right. want. Okay. And then we help with measurements okay. for the project. Okay. And Interior it's designers printed to you. order. Yes, we work with designers right. all over the country. That's awesome. Into Canada. So out of your business model, is this seeing the biggest potential for growth? Is the uh, I believe so. I think, I, I'm looking at you as mm-hmm. an outsider investor going, oh, I'm seeing this as a, something that's scalable. Yes, okay. definitely. Because you're hit painting 6 a.m. until you can't you, do you that. You can only paint so That's much. correct. Right. Absolutely. Not, and I have a, like, I huge database of designs love it i know this you can can answer this question or not answer this question but i'm curious what is the most expensive painting you have sold oh um if you'd like to give a range you can do a range because i'm just curious because like as an artist 10 to 15 Okay, thousand. ten fifty thousand. Yeah. Okay, that, that's perfect. That that's kind of the range I was thinking. I was like, mm-hmm. I was thinking in the five to ten maybe. Yeah. And she sold one for fifteen grand there, bro. It's the reason why she drives what she drives. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a good hey, tax write-off. Hey, out of that fifteen grand, I had to pay the rent on the bill. Four grand. Like, she 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 goes. That's the only painting I sold in three months, and it paid the rent, the power. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people don't realize, really. They don't. They, no. they go, you sold a painting for $15,000? Yeah, but I hadn't sold anything in three months, and I had to pay the rent, had to well, pay the film. But I, to, I do, but it's more about yeah. I have built up a, I've built up to the point where I can charge that a for my that's the value of my painting. They're not going to get another right. one like that. Right. Right. And I've been painting for years. How like many? I've built. 10, 15? 15. 15 years. Yeah. You said 2013 or 10? No, that's when I started um, selling. Selling isn't 13. No, I started selling way before that. I'm sorry. That's okay. when I pulled out of the galleries 2014. Ah, uh, that's what I heard. Yeah. Got it. That's great. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. You still love it. I love it. I can tell. I, I'm talking about painting and you're lighting up like a butterfly. I know. I love it so much. I would do it if no one ever saw it. I would still have to paint. Well, Wendy, yeah. I want to thank you so much. Thank I don't want to take you. up any more of your time. I would love to do a, a get together. Like yes. A, I would love to see the studio and have a little get together. I would love it. It'd yep. be fun. I think so too. Garrett, thanks for being on the air. Micah, love you as always. You talk all the time. Stop. <laughs> he does have a microphone over there. He just doesn't talk anymore. It's not even near It still him. works. I know. He's over there like, uh, yeah, I Googled that for you. <laughs> awesome. Fabulous. Thank awesome. you for Thanks. having That's me. cool. Wraps up a good yes. show. We'll talk to Mike Burke. Buy art, Later. people. Buy art. Support artists. Oh.